Hello everyone, this is Lisa from Rapid Resizer and today I wanted to show you the Pitcher Stencil Maker. So to get started, whenever you log in to your Rapid Resizer account, you will go to Create a Design and under this you will find the Pitcher Stencil Maker. Once this screen has loaded, you can then go to Select an Image from your device. And today I'm going to choose my flower image here and open. One thing to note is that you will be able to load JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs and PDFs into the Picture Stencil Maker. Now that we have our image loaded, let's take a look at the four different design modes. First up, we have Edges. This will make the higher contrast areas black and everything else white. Next to that we have Thin. This will give you thinner lines to your design, which will be really good for stencils. Besides Thin, we have Threshold. Threshold makes the light areas white and the dark areas black. Within the Threshold mode, we have two additional customizations, Brightness and Color. Brightness will make the light areas lighter and the dark areas darker, and Color makes areas similar to the chosen color black and everything else white. So as you can see here, you can click on colors in your image and test out how they look. Green works best for me in this image, but I don't think I'll be using it today. Lastly, we have Adaptive. Adaptive is similar to Threshold, but uses a rolling average for the threshold. It will be more effective on images with a gradient or with shaded areas. This particular outcome with my image would be really useful for stamps and for lino printing. The next thing I wanted to look at is the dark to white range and the sharp to soft range. Dark to white controls the brightness threshold for how much of your image is converted to black versus white. If your design has too much white, you can slide it to the darker range and adjust it from there. For example, if we slide it with my image, you'll see that the black slowly disappears. Next up we have the sharp to soft range. This will blur the image before it is converted and will be useful for getting rid of small dark lines. Adjusting the sharpness of your image will increase line detail and the opposite for increasing the softness. It will simplify your design. If we test it out on my image here, you will see my design getting less detailed and then sharper has lots of detail. The last thing that we will take a look at is the outline option. This is only available with the threshold and with the adaptive modes. So with the adaptive mode selected, and my design looking how I think I would like it. Let's now select Outline. As you can see, this has outlined all of the black areas of my design, which is perfect for a stencil. And with the Threshold mode, we can experiment and get some different patterns and details here too. But for my design today, I think I'm going to go with Thin, and select the full white range and then I'm going to choose this and I'm happy with how this looks. Once you have the desired look for your design, you can continue to customize and print and then you can customize your drawing further if you wish. I might like to take my design into the designer so that I can erase some of these lines that aren't necessary. I might also take my design through the prepare your design to resize accurately so that all of my crop lines are as close to my design as possible. This will ensure that when you print your design that is 100% accurate. Once you have done all of your final checks, you are now ready to print your design. I hope that this was helpful for your next designs and thank you so much for watching.